Yo, what is up everybody? Today, Mutt got a huge update. We have 30 all pro packs on deck. We're not going to open them all today, just because we don't have the binder space to open them all. But there is a monster update. A lot of new things popped out today, so we're going to go over them. First, we got the Combine Warriors. That's a thing that's been going on for the past few years in Mutt. They got 95 overall. Taylor Mates is the first card out. They got the Ultimate Master Set that gives you a 99 Cam Chancellor and a 96 Byron Maxwell. That's if you do the Roadmaster and the Mutt Master. Then you get the Grand thing. And part of the Grand Master thing is these trophies that you got to get. You put bronze and silver players in these sets. You get a trophy. You have to do that for every single team and the free agents. And you get a 99 Barry Sane. There's a long way to collectible for the Ultimate Master. And we're going to be opening a bunch of all pro packs. I wasn't playing opening any of these all pro packs, but um, I got suckered into it because... There's a chance you pull Legacy Collectibles as we go into the Final Edition Topper. We want to pull Fletcher Cox, but instead we pull Jonathan Banks twice. It's the worst thing you can get, so that was rough. Didn't like that, but yeah, you get a chance of pulling Legacy Collectibles, and I only have two of these things, man. I've done like 20 plus seasons, and I only have two Legacy Collectibles, so I had to try out my chance here. I gotta do that damn Mutt Master set sometime before Madden 16 comes out. I was, I'm hoping, you know, as we start ripping through these things. But yeah, um, to go over the update, there's the um barry sanders i think that's my favorite part of the new um thing the new collection that came out that trophy thing because it adds value to the gold or not the gold the silver and bronze players they, they were they had practically none besides a few that went into some of those warehouse sets and like a few like elite sets or something like that the elite players but um besides that now son those things are better it's better to open up pro packs so you get things you need to do that set i wish this came out a week earlier when i was ripping like 500 million packs to try to get mike vick because i would have already had barry sanders in my possession because I pretty much put all those damn cards when I was trying to get Vic. You know, I pulled everything but Vic. <laughs> As um, we get uh, Jaquan Jarrett. That's not a card to look at for the stats, but it's a card to look at because we can sell that and um, give it to someone who needs to do the positional set for the whatever his name is, the Harrison Smith. Because we're not doing it, but uh, someone needs to. And they put those Team of the Week cards back, the free safety. And I'm sure there's some left guards out there too, like the um, the football outsider stuff. And they're probably going to be doing that every single week as we get a 10K quick sell. And an Anthony Barr touchdown return. So this is actually a pretty decent all pro pack considering the way these things are going as we get their Jaquan Jarrett too. So I mean this is not bad. You see like a Nigel Bradham and we get a Tavon or oh, not Tavon Austin, a Taylor Mays collectible here. So this is actually a really really good all pro pack. This Taylor Mays I sold as soon as I could for I think 40k. I want to sell it as soon as I could while I still had some decent values. So. I, mean, I probably undersold the crap out of that thing, but I sold it anyways. I wanted to sell it quick. So that's actually a really, really good pack there. So hopefully we can continue that here. So, um, yeah. Uh, the trophy stuff I really like. The Mutt Master, the Grandmaster thing is kind of, I mean, it's not really anything too special. It's just like the Camp Chancellor is the best strong safety in the game. Has 102 hit power, 99 jumping. Uh, other than that, some decent stats. Nothing that really pops out the page. And his height is up there too. I mean, it's a pretty beastly card, but... I mean, I'm not exactly going crazy over it because, you know, just I, I still like Barry, you know, and plus the 96 Byron Maxwell, it's an okay card. And I guess it threw it in there just so all the Legion of Boom cards are part of the Mutt Master thing, just like I got it all on the cover, so. I don't know if that was the player from the start, but that's what they ended up doing in the end as we're just going through these packs so far. Um, I mean, it was off to a good start, but now we're starting to cool down here. You see that Cam Newton collectible? That's like the first Team of the Week collectible that we got that was worth something. These Team of the Week collectibles have been killing me. I've been waiting for a legacy collectible. I've just been constantly pulling these things. And they also added new throwback and flashback. That, the throwback and flashback players. A lot of them. And, like, I, I was getting really hyped for that. I was, like, I was really excited. I had all these elite badges saved up. I was thinking about maybe doing, like, some daily or almost daily flashback pack openings i thought there were gonna be some beastly cards coming out but um eh, just nothing really too great out as far as throwback players throwback players you know that that set got a little bit more value to some pretty decent players that came out as this thing i can't do anything but quick sell that because you can't auction it and um i already put that in the set for julian edelman so I mean, thanks for nothing, I guess. Like, thanks for 250 coins on that spot there. But yeah, I mean, back to the thing, the throwback and flashbacks. It's, they're not bad. I'm not saying it was bad, but I'm not excited about it. I'm not going to be opening a bunch of flashback packs for, or even throwback packs to try to get these players. Simply because 
there's not it's nothing too special you know it's just a bunch of new 94 95 96 97 overall players i mean there's already a lot of those kind of players out there right now especially with the team of the year stuff that happened recently it's just you know it's nothing too, to get too excited about for me personally maybe for you if your team's like a 91 92 93 94 even 95 overall team you might think, oh, this is pretty decent, you know? This is a really, really good thing. But for someone like me, raising a 96 overall team, and, you know, I have all these elite badges and stuff, I'm not going to be using them for those sets. You know, I'm not going to be ripping flashback packs because, I mean, Charles Woodson's probably still the best thing you can pull out of a flashback pack or an Ed Reed or something like that. As far as the throwback pack, they did add some new um, Navarro Bowman and stuff like that. And there's, there's some good flashback packs flashback players don't get me wrong vincent jackson deshaun jackson a 99 speed devin hester there's some good players you can pull it's just nothing that i'm personally gushing over as we got a steve smith collectible here this is the first like decent thing we pulled in a long time i was like oh whoa here we go i mean it's something right we're not getting any legacy collectibles we're just you know just not pulling any of those we haven't pulled a single elite player but i mean we got to get excited over steve smith collectibles so that's got to be going for at least over 10k so i guess that's cool but besides that we're not getting anything else this is the last pack and that's about it so that's my thoughts on the whole thing i'll get you guys a flashback pack tonight just for the hell of it besides that we'll see what happens from there so leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys next time